of deception, deceit, and demagoguery. From the game of politics. Take me out to the ball game. To the game of baseball. Jesse Ventura has tried to stay on pitch the past four years as governor of Minnesota. And though not everyone has agreed with the governor's leadership style. I can be abrasive at times. One thing most can agree on. I'm not your typical career politician who's going to be politically correct. Need up here, Recently, huh? I sat down with Ventura to take a look back on his years as governor, from his surprise victory in the very beginning to controversy and achievement like that tax refund. I mean, it's nice that he's he's doing this. The governor says he's held true to one thing. Honesty, that you're going to tell it to us the way it is. But then there's other people that don't want that and they don't like an in-your-face type person. I, I call it the Jack Nicholson syndrome. You can't handle the truth. The truth is the governor has now had enough. The personal attacks on his family, his administration, from those of us who practice... National Enquirer, sensationalized garbage journalism. That he claims is good for ratings, but also keeps good people from running for office. You have to lay bare everything you've done in your life, and God help you if you do something at home on your own time. Play Tuesday, Wednesday night. Uh, is my schedule clear? Yes. So what's next for Jesse Ventura? Will he go after this man's job in the next election, as rumored? Uh, I love to look at you and say, you know, that's private life. And private life is private, isn't it? But he did tell me he won't be disappearing from public eye anytime soon. You'll still idea. see more of this and more of this. And through the strikes and the home runs, this governor says there have been no regrets. Sorry, I'm leaving. I got 90 days in a wake up and I'm back as a private citizen.